Hi everyone, I'm Tim the Plain Man Tuxworth and welcome to Plain Time. So what I'm going to do is a uh, unboxing. I've just received this, the Dancing Wings Hobby Sop With Pup. Um, I always wanted to build one of these. Uh, I bought it and um, now we're going to see how it, uh, how it comes together and eventually how it flies. Um, I'll start with the outside of the box. It's kind of interesting um, that, uh, and I, I noticed this with the Dancing Wings uh, hobby models, uh, you have to pay attention to all the little details. So, for example, right on the front of the box, if you can see it, um, I don't know how clear that is. Maybe I'll, I'll try it over there. Uh, there's specifications um, 378 millimeters and length uh, so that's the wingspan and the length is 280 millimeters and a flying weight of 42 to 50 grams it also tells you about um, what you need if you're going to use a brush motor or a brushless motor it gives you the spec for the brushed motor um, this uh, what the ESC and servos that you need um, the suggested prop and the battery and uh, it's got a similar set of specs for the brushless motor. Now what we'll see when we get in there is uh, a lesson that I learned from building a previous one of these is to buy the kit with the electronics. So that's what I've done in this case. Um, so we should see when we get inside that, um, that it's rather than the next step being having to get on online and, and, and figure out where to order these things and wait a few weeks for them to turn up. Uh, I should have most of the pieces that I need inside the box. So let's uh, let's open it up and see what we have. So here's the box. Um, at the beginning uh, is the extensive and detailed um, Dancing Wings Hobby instruction manual. This is this is it. This is one page um, during the. Um, the build videos. I'm going to go through um, the details um, and and show you more about the you know what you see because we we'll, we will be following these instructions um, uh, very precisely and step by step because I've noticed that they're very very important, um, but um, they're also very small, and so um, I will be using a magnifying glass literally to read them as we go through. So I won't go through them in detail here, just to say that everything you need. Um, to, to build the model, all the instructions are um, on here. Um, so that's, that's the instructions. Um, what we've got next is um, several different bags containing um, all of the electronics that I, um, that I ordered in the, um, the complete combo pack um, that includes, should include all of the pieces that you need. Um, so I should have uh, servos, and so I see that here. I've got um, two um, uh, micro servos. Uh, I, they should be 1.7 gram servos, um, and that'll give us elevator and rudder. Um, there's, um, and so let me actually uh, just uh, uh, disconnect those from the, from the staples. So that's uh, one servo there, and another one there, identical. Um, now we've also got a, um, a, a brush motor, I believe it is, um, K0604, um, I'll confirm that, but um, there's your motor, that's, that's actually going to be the power it, um, for, the, for the plane, see there's a tiny little um, electric motor in there with the uh, connection to connect into an ESC, and if we keep on going with this probably we should find, and here it is, that there's a um, there's a, an ESC in here, um, and uh, I'll open that up in a minute, um, and we can have a look inside. So that's the ESC, and that's all the, the electronics that it comes with, plus one plastic propeller, um, and that'll probably be a 5030. That's the one that they recommend. You can buy sets of them um, from Banggood. All right, so now we get to the actual plane itself. And here we get one bag of pieces. That's that's it. Um, it's uh, uh, it's going to be. It's all laser cut pieces, and um, and there will be 
um, very precise and um, surely I'm sure they'll fit together really clean nicely and cleanly um, and it will be sometimes a very much a hunt and peck exercise to find the right part um, let's uh, get the scissors out and cut that open and have a look at, at the actual pieces of the of the plane of course I want to make sure I don't lose any of the pieces on the way through um, and here we go so this will be uh, wheels and yeah they're marked um, L, K and L and M and I'm assuming that we'll be laminating the those together to make the wheels that uh, seems to be the way that these models work um, and, it, and it actually worked quite nicely um, here we have um, all of the little um, it'll be carbon fiber um, some uh, some shrink um, shrink tubing um, there's some uh, o-ring rubber bands in here um, I don't know what they're for yet we'll find out uh, and Looks like we've got some kind of stickers of some kind in there. I'm not really sure what that is. And then a whole bunch of little tiny magnets, which is awesome. Um, it looks like uh, they're a little bigger than the, the magnets I had in the previous model, so they might fit the, the magnet holes quite well. A bunch, bunch of little screws and, um, and some tiny little pieces of wire. So this will be, oh, and there is, that's actually a piece of carbon fiber rod there, which um, we shall see, but I'm going to guess is probably for the undercarriage. This this carbon fiber rod, I'm sure, this longer one that um, came in the box as well, I'm going to uh, assume will be for the um, uh, for the controlling the, um, the for the servos, the control rod to control the ailerons. Uh, sorry, the elevator and the and the rudder. I'm surprised there's only one. It seems to me there should be another one. Let's, uh, we'll see where we go, but I did just cut it open, and oh yes, here it is, here it is, there is another one, mixed in with the, book, the boxes, so we've got two carbon fiber rods, so that'll be one, the control rod for the elevator, and one control rod for the, um, for the rudder, and, um, the most important thing for me to do now is to not lose those, so I'm going to put them back into this plastic bag here, and keep them carefully in the box later for, um, because it will be some time before we actually get to the point of using those. Um, an, a, a piece of very flexible um, soft balsa wood, so I'm guessing there will be some, a planking um, used to uh, used on the um, on the fuselage somewhere. Um, this is um, either very hard hardwood. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's very hard. I don't think it's ply. Um, so it's it's quite quite hard and it's cut out with as you can see this will be um, the push rods and the um, uh, the control horns and that kind of thing plus maybe mm, some formers or something like that for um, for where a little bit of strength is required in the model we've got um, a set sets of wings so that'll be um, most likely yeah, that'll be the upper um, could be the upper wing or the lower wing I'm not totally sure. And it's interesting on these wings, they've actually got dotted lines there for um, ailerons. I'm not sure if that means that it could be built with ailerons or if they're just for the purposes of, um, of, uh, of making it, you know, marking it up to make it look pretty. But uh, um, there's, they're definitely, as you can, maybe you can see on there, the, um, there's this dotted line just going across um, the wing there and that's on every, every one of the wings has that. So we'll see. Um, what that means as we get through the model. Here we have the, the tail feathers, the elevator, the rudder, um, with the cutouts for where um, it, basically they'll be um, they'll be hinged so that um, we can uh, have the controllers can control them. This is the the sides and probably the top, I think, of the uh, fuselage. Um, looks like here we've got more wheel pieces. Um, I, I think that's what those those round circles are going to be um, to make the wheels look quite nice. I, I'm sure that that will come out really well. And then lastly, here's another piece of that um, stiffer wood that um, that makes up all of the 
components that form the shape of the model. So you'll see that there's the formers, um, there, there's sort of like a wing bracket that will hold the wings and put them and, and give them the dihedral. I'm, I'm guessing that that will, if you, I don't know if you can see that, but that will, um, that will actually go, um, I don't know if you can see that, but that will actually go uh, form the dihedral on the wings. Um, so that the wings will attach to that particular former there and um, and let's see so we've got um, oh yeah the, the the frames that actually frame the piece that, so it gives you a wing on a rib on the upper wing in connection to the lower wing and so that will that will actually join the two um, the two wing surfaces together so uh, and then there's control horns and, and all the other little bits and pieces that need to be um, kind of a tougher material, all laser kit, laser cut, and very, very, very precise. So um, now I'll, I think just to complete the story, I'm going to cut open this one uh, very intriguing little um, plastic bag, which is um, I think I showed you that before. This is um, this is the um, the ESC I think. But the interesting thing is it's got a piece of paper in it. And that piece of paper, I'm guessing, let's see, but maybe gives me some instructions about uh, how these um, how these various electronics get installed. Because I'm sure that they don't need to give me a, a manual to, just to explain an ESC. So let's see what happens. There's a whole bunch of little bits and pieces in here. Um, some, some, some wires that look to me a whole lot like I'm going to be doing some soldering. Um, I don't know if that's how clear that is but there's that those are loose wires at the end with a connector on the other end so I'm, I'm fairly sure that there's not going to be some soldering required to connect those to something um, and there's another wire the same just put that back in the bag so again so they don't get lost from until I need them and and here we have um, it's just an ESC a 1S um, uh, it connects to a 1S LiPo, it's a brushless ESC, so that must be a brushless motor that we have, and uh, with the connectors for the, um, for the motor and for the battery. So let's see, what the, let's see what the little piece of instructions in here say. So far, the side that I'm seeing is all in um, Chinese. Um, let's hope that if I flip it over it comes up in English. Yes, it does. Okay, so this is the instructions for the brushless motor ESC. Um, it describes uh, how to connect it um, and uh, the battery requirements, how to set the, the, the stroke and the direction, um, and then uh, and program the instructions for using with the remote control. So uh, there you have it. That's, um, that's all of the bits and pieces that come in the kit. I, obviously I need to add a receiver. I knew that I do need to add a receiver and I've already ordered one that's on its way. So when I say I, I've got all the combo, I've got all the pieces basically required to make all the connections, but it will need a receiver to connect to, um, to a transmitter to complete the package. And, uh, and then of course there'll be things like, uh, you know, uh, glue um, and potentially other things like, I, I mean, as an example, um, you can see, I don't know if you can see it from here, um, it's not really that clear from, from here, but um, on the instructions or on the plan, but we didn't see any decals, there's no um, uh, decoration um, on the plane, so any decorations uh, that I want to do, I'm going to have to um, come up with something myself. Um, you know, we, I can do that probably with vinyl um, transfers, uh, and so I'll talk about that when I do the build. So um, there's the complete unboxed Dancing Wings hobby, Sop with Camel Pup. Have a good night.